What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video and in today's video I have a video where I'm going to be showing a bunch of pickups I've made with one of my friends through a recent trade that we made a couple weeks ago. A lot of PC stuff but also some non-PC stuff. So we're going to get started with um, it's going to increase in better cards as we go along. So starting off with just some Isaiah Thomas base cards from Complete, Donruss, and Insert Dimes. I'm trying to get more of his stuff because I really don't have a ton. I have some, but um, I'd like to start maybe a binder of his stuff. Got some Jabari Parker numbered cards, 199 out of 199. eBay 101, I guess you could say. Um, that's from Hoops. And then a red which is out of 149 from totally certified totally certified 1516 next another Jabari Parker base from Optic 1718 so got a few of his uh joined the Celtics late in the season in the 2021 season so this past season um Next, we have a winner stays Tim Duncan. Back to what I was saying about Jabari Parker. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep him for next year. Not 100% sure. Um, but I like him. He's a decent player. So figured why not uh, get some of his stuff. Even though it's not any rookie cards or anything like that. And to some of the top loaded stuff. Got a prestige 1718 Jarrett Allen rookie. Have a decent amount of Jared Allen rookies now. I think this may be like the fourth product I have a rookie of his from. Next is a John Collins Essentials rookie. 1718. Pretty sure this is in Chronicles now, or the last year or two it might have been. Not sure if they'll put that back in Chronicles. If I had to guess, I'd say yes, but. A Colin Sexton Class of 2018 insert. I might already have one of these. I'm not sure. I might have given it to someone at a giveaway. Uh, next, another class of, uh, well, this is Class of 2017, Markel Fultz. Showed last year that he has the capability of being not all the way to the hype that he got going into when he got drafted, but still can, um, well, he's, aside from, I think he tore his ACL last year, but he was already dealing with injury problems um, in, in his rookie year and the year after that, or something like that. So it was already preventing him from showing what his full, uh, what his, what talent he really has. So I think next year, if he's, fully healthy he may be able to continue to show what he was showing last year that he could be a decent player especially on the magic where there's no really like standout guy now that's the best player on the team uh they traded away gordon and vucevic so they really have a lot of young guys made some trades got wendell carter jr and rj hampton uh jonathan isaac's gonna come back off an injury so here we have a Terry Rogier Prestige rookie. I have an Acetate rookie card. I assume this is from maybe an insert set, but I'm not 100% 100% sure. And lastly is a Bobby Portis Hoops rookie card. I'm recording this after the Bucks won the finals, so he played pretty good. Um, just played his role really well. I don't know if he was starting. He might have been starting um, in the finals, but the Bucks didn't have a lot of depth outside of their starting five and maybe a couple other guys like Portis. Um, they were really running a short rotation, so having guys like Bobby Portis play at such a high level was really big, and I think that's why they won. One of the reasons I didn't think the bu the Bucks would pull out the championship is because they didn't have enough guys on the bench that could come in when the starters needed to rest. But um, they did get the job done. Obviously, Giannis, Chris Middleton, uh, two huge players in that series that just 
played insane games, especially Giannis in game six, so with that 50-point game. So some nice pickups, probably one of my more better pickups videos from trades. I think this is only like the third, fourth time I've done it. Maybe wrong about maybe wrong about that, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers in the next few months, so I'd greatly appreciate if you'd subscribe. Also, turn on notifications. I'll be uh, posting weekly content. I've been posting every like four days, sometimes three, four days, but I try and put out a video at least once a week. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.